Hi friends and professional as you are aware that we are discussing about the 12 principles which recently introduced in the pam book version 7 so today we are specifically discussing the fifth principle that is system thinking so it is something a new to some of you let me demystify and understand the system thinking are you ready let's begin so system thinking first of all you need to understand what about what is the system thinking so consider the project it's not execute in a vacuum right so your project is a subset of a bigger thing or a, your organization right or your organization is a part of the business or industry that industry is a part of the bigger ecosystem or a country that country is a part of the global consortium and many more so now there are many things that interdependent or interlink consider the project is a gear of the bigger machine that are functioning so if one thing impacted that impact other things as well like consider the project in which you are working the government norms change the regulatory bodies change the crude oil price change get may also get impact the entire ecosystem so if a project manager you have a very myopia view that this is your project boundary and you are not seeing beyond that boundary and you are thinking that or assuming that you just need to be focused on the ecosystem or deliver that particular project but if you are not having a binocular to see what is happening beyond that boundary that might be impacting your project deliverables not today but in the near future then you should have a strategy to mitigate those risk or the threats consider the example like if you are so engaged in a developing a product of cd drive and other things but the technology that we change in the ecosystem if you are not interacting and having a market view you are interacting with your sales and marketing team then this particular product what you are delivering that might be not relevant for a longer time so you have to improve and change accordingly the good example like the the earlier days there is a quadic camera coming so they are not invent and innovate in that domain and that they get get perish like pagers nowadays everyone has a cell phone and tomorrow might be new things are coming but you have to keep yourself updated by interacting and get informed and understanding the holistic picture of the entire ecosystem that how each things are interlinked or interact with each other what are the factors globally nationally uh, culturally or what are the new trend that impact your a uh, project so that we called system thinking so you are not considering your project as an independent isolated things but you are considering your project as a part of the bigger system so that system of system what we called now why we use a system thinking the best example that system thinking is used to solve the complex or wicked problems that and why how we can solve that complex and wicked problem that it expand your range of the choices available it help us to articulate the problem in a new and different ways so that we have bigger options available with us at the same time the participant of the system thinking make aware that there are no perfect solution so we have to adjust with what available solution with us that is uh we have to go with an optimum solution we cannot wait for indefinite or indefinite time the choices what we are making will have an impact on other ecosystem or other projects so that is uh, as we are living in a so uh, interconnected world so whatever we are choosing that is an opportunity cost for that so all that things you know to consider that help us to take a very informed decision or a choices how we are going to use this system thinking for that you need to understand and kind of iceberg model what i say 
so as you see here the iceberg so in the iceberg the the tip of the iceberg that is only we can see but beyond the surface there is something which we even bigger problem is 30 percent it you see the tip of the iceberg but 70 percent that is uh, below the surface of the water that you need to understand like in uh, the iceberg model as you see the events that you are easily identify that something happened but what why this happened you have to understand what are the pattern that the train what is going on and this is just a trigger point in terms of the event what are the support structure that create those patterns and what are the mental models that uh, support that uh, support structure that all you need to understand so let me explain this how to use this system thinking first don't try to do blame game avoid blame game please instead of asking what made who made this mistake ask what is about this problem that we don't understand so we need to understand first what is about that particular problem of this particular iceberg you understand the tip of the iceberg but what you don't understand you try to understand that don't attempt to solve the problem immediately right it's not able to understand the problem in a night or so right get the full story out by understanding the what are the different patterns that uh, trains of the pro, what are the structures and what are the mental blocks that in turn create that particular problem so you have a different viewpoints to understand this event right so don't jump and try to come up with a biased idea that this is the problem this is the reason for that try to understand different option okay finally welcome different viewpoints that uh, are creating or instead of assuming that everyone has the same points try to get a different viewpoints from the different stakeholder do a brainstorming exercise and after that come up with the solution that accepted by the one who are going to implement that so this is the way you can implement the system thinking so in a conclusion of the system thinking don't react on the events that you see over here that is a tip of an iceberg but you have to decodify what are the patterns what are the trends that create that event to happen then you further deep drive to understand what are the structure or a uh, solution that is creating what are this particular uh, pattern and then you try to understand the mental models that advocating this particular support structure that in turn uh, creating that pattern and that trigger the event so that you can have a holistic idea to solve that particular problem that is complex in a nature support uh, skills that support the system thinking system view of the project that is first empathy with the business areas the second thing is that you have a critical thinking with a bigger picture focus on uh, your own then you have to challenge the assertion and the mental models sometimes what we have we have prejudiced mindset so you have to challenge that in uh, adopting that principle and see what are the external internal and uh, what are the external critics you and what's the review on that you have to take a collective 360 degree approach and use this integrated artifacts and take a practice by which you can inculcate all those viewpoints use of modeling and uh, uh, scenarios that to ensure that system are demystify and you have a holistic understanding and finally process pro, uh, proactive management is required to implement the system thinking so with that skill set you can implement the system thinking that is one of the principles of your PAM book version 7. I hope you understand the system thinking principles. If you have any suggestion or comments or query you can write in the comment section and stay tuned for more such updates on the project management. Thank you very much.